Hi everyone, welcome to this video where I am sketching the things that I packed for my Tokyo trip. I recorded this video about two to three weeks ago before my trip and on this page I am sketching the art tools, the materials that I brought along. So right now I'm drawing the pens. I brought two pens with me. The Uniball Air, which is also the pen that I'm using to sketch right now and the Uniball Signal Gel Stick. Now for my previous trips I would bring along fountain pens but I realized that bringing pens like disposable pens they are actually more convenient and I really like the Uniball Air and the Uniball Signal Gel Stick because the ink they use is waterproof so you can actually use watercolor over the ink lines that's fantastic because I like to sketch with watercolor and the unique thing about the Uniball Air is it is actually sensitive to pressure so if you press down hard you can get thicker lines so you can actually get some sort of line variation with this ballpoint pen that's pretty cool you seldom find that with other ballpoint pens as for the Uniball Signal Gel Stick well it's a very affordable pen I brought this pen along as backup. This pen is less than Singapore 90 cents, so maybe in US it would be less than 70 US cents. So it's really affordable and the ink is also waterproof. I read somewhere that they are using pigmented ink, so that's great. This means that it's archival as well. Now, this sketchbook that I'm using right now is the Arcademy sketchbook that was given to me by my friend James Lee and the watercolor palette that I brought along is the portable painter that was given to me by Steve Payton yes I received some goodies now and then from creators which is pretty cool the sling bag that I'm drawing right now, I actually did not bring this because on second thoughts, I decided to bring along just one backpack. I actually plan to pack this sling bag inside my backpack so that I can bring the sling bag around in Tokyo. It's a smaller bag but I realized that maybe I should just cut down the weight and just bring the backpack alone and just not bring the sling bag. This is the camera that I brought. This is the new Panasonic GH5. This is the camera that I use to create all the vlogs. It's a very good camera for vlogging because it has image stabilization. It has body stabilization actually. The outdoor handheld footage that I can shoot with this camera is so much smoother compared to the other camera which is the Panasonic GH4 which I'm currently using actually, but mostly at home. I did not bring a lot of tech stuff, so I only have my phone, my tablet, travel adapter and the camera. I do not have a laptop, so I actually did not edit any of the travelogue videos while I was in Tokyo. All those videos were edited when I was back in Singapore. So these are little accessories that I bring along, extra SD card, the battery for the microphone. The onboard microphone for the camera is not very good so I always bring an external microphone. I also bring my travel toothpaste and toothbrush because some places they actually do not provide toothpaste and toothbrush. I actually booked an Airbnb apartment so some of those Airbnb apartments they do not have toothpaste and toothbrush. I packed very light. I only brought two jeans, one shorts and three t-shirts. This is my jacket. So all these things that you are looking at right now, I'm able to pack them all in into my backpack. My backpack is not like those hiking backpacks is actually just a normal size backpack maybe about 20 liters or 24 liters is those backpack that people bring to school so I do not bring a lot of clothes I do not bring a lot of art materials 
not a lot of gadgets that's why I'm able to pack everything inside I like to travel light so every time when I travel I would make this kind of packing list sketches this helps me remember what I brought to the trip and for subsequent trips later on in the future I can just refer back to all the things that I have packed here and this is a very good way to make sure that I do not forget to bring anything. If you want to fill the first page of your travelogue sketchbook, I think sketching the packing list is a very good idea and it's also very useful as well. So right now I'm painting the watercolors over the ink lines. This is the portable painter that is loaded with Daniel Smith paints. The colors that I'm using right now is French Ultramarine and Burnt Sienna. Sometimes I like to add a little cool red to that mixture to give it a cooler tone to make it a bit more purplish. So French Ultramarine is a very nice color with very beautiful granulation pattern. There are 60 pages in this Academy sketchbook. The paper is Fabriano Rosa Spina paper with 60% cotton. This is some sort of print making paper. It actually handles watercolor quite well. It's not too dry. The paper is slightly off white and as you can see the edges of the pages they are decorated so it's very nice to look at and also to flip through the pages. This sketchbook is actually quite pricey so I'm very grateful for my friend James Lee for sending me one to test out. If you want to get this sketchbook you can visit his website arcademy.com I will put the link in the video description below. Arcademy is a new product line that my friend has just started so he is an entrepreneur and I'm helping him out here. I'm always very happy to help out other artists. I know artists they are not good at marketing so if I can help them in whatever way I will try to because I'm an artist myself. I know how hard it is to get the word out especially when it comes to promoting your own products. So this sketch is almost done. Thank you for watching. I will create another video which is a sketchbook tour of this sketchbook showing you all the sketches when I have filled it up. So stay tuned on my channel. Remember to subscribe if you haven't done so. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.